Denver police say these two men are stealing bikes from high-rise buildings in and around downtown. That's frustrating. These people have very nice high-end bikes. Uh, they're avid riders. They put their bikes away for the winter, and they go down there and they're gone. Gone in 60 seconds. Here you can see the suspects outside a condo development on Lincoln. One suspect sits down and waits for his partner in crime before entering the building. Then you can see them inside the garage, stealing bikes cutting the locks and riding off with them. Police say the way thieves are getting into these buildings downtown, high rises and condos that is, are by piggybacking, following somebody in. Once the thieves piggyback themselves inside the building, they have easy access to anything they can find. In this case, it's bicycles. Don't let anybody in your building you don't know. Watch behind you. In the five buildings hit, 30 bikes were taken, 20 from 2020 Lawrence, another seven from 19th and Logan. But this is the older style of lock. While police won't endorse any particular kind of bike lock, they do say get the best you can find. You've invested thousands of dollars into a bike. Don't put a $2 lock on it. Most of these locks here have the actual locking cylinder placed on this part of the lock rather than on the end of the lock where it's much more vulnerable to being broken. This $150 chain lock, very tough to cut. It's a super hardened metal. How do you make it hard for people to steal your bike? Bring it into the apartment. Lock it up or take it into your house and put it on your balcony. Another trick, take off a seat or a tire. Without either, thieves won't be riding the bike out of your building. In downtown, Jam Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.